Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I just want to show you how to wire a three-way switch into a single pole switch. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to change this light switch out for one of these occupancy uh, touchless systems. And so in order to do that, I have to convert this setup into a single pole setup instead of a three-way. A three-way basically just means you have two switches that power on your light. So for example, when I turn this off, I can hit that switch and turn this light on. Whenever you're working on power in your home, especially when you're working with outlets and switches, make sure to cut off your breaker. So this one I'm keeping as my switch and I'm turning this one into the blank. So you can actually do this either way. This is separate and this is separate. So this black one by itself is the one we're gonna be using. The one where the black and red wire come out together, you wanna to cap this black wire off. So we'll keep it simple. I'm gonna cap this off just like so. And then your ground, you can cap that off if you want or you can just tuck it away. You don't need it because this is going to be our blank. Remember, the black and red that are together, you want to take the black traveler and cap it off. You can't make a mistake because this is together. This one doesn't have any red together. So this is a black wire by itself. We'll be using this. So keep that organized, keep that off to the corner, but cap off the black one that is traveling with the red. And then we're going to take the red now, right over here, and we're going to combine these two together, just like so. So it's sending power from here, going into this one, and you can push these back into the box. All right, here's my switch side. I'm gonna give you a quick recap of what I did on that side, which is my blank. Again, I identified my traveler, which is, you see that cable coming out with the black and red wires right there. This is your traveler. So I capped that off on that side. And then the red wire I connected to the black wire like this. And then now that I'm on this side, I cap off the traveler and then I'm going to use the load, which is the red and connect it to my occupancy switch and then the black I'm going to connect to the live wire and then use my ground. I'm not touching the neutral wire. Now some of these switches may require a neutral wire, but this one does not. Now the most important thing to note of is whenever you put these switches back, make sure that if you have like a terminal like this, that whenever you tuck everything away, especially your ground, it doesn't touch any of these terminals on the side. So you don't want anything to short out or cause a spark or fire. So this is what it looks like when everything tucked away nice and neat. You have to make sure you put everything in there kind of tight so that you have room for all this mass to go back inside this outlet here in this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in here and secure it and get the faceplate and I'll show you how this thing operates. So I have the laundry room occupancy sensor set to cut off in 30 seconds. Um, I really like how the occupancy sensors can be set to like 15 seconds, all up to 30 minutes. Uh, most people like to set it on five minutes but this one I found that 30 seconds is just right for me because if you stay in there a little bit longer and move around and you know do certain activities, it'll stay on longer than 30 seconds. But if you're just gonna walk into that room and pass through this hallway, at least the light will cut off um, when necessary, just like it did just now. And I also have one in the bathroom over here. So see, just like that. I got a different style one over here where you can do it manually, um, on, off, auto. And then I'll go into the laundry room here real quick. The moment I step in here, it will come on just like that. So that turns the light on. And this was a three-way switch and it turned into a single pole switch as I showed you earlier. And the nice thing about these occupancy sensors is you can actually turn them off or on manually. So if I push this, it turns it off. If I turn it on, I just push the button. So. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.